What is going on geeks? My name is Unite the Clans and today we are going to be doing some building. If all went as planned, I showed you the final product in the intro there and together we are going to build it. It is a Mediterranean street front, some row houses and we're just getting started. I got to show you this though. I made a stupid outfit for this episode. Look at that. That's the desert cloth shirt with the cloth pants. And look, it's, it's like a little exposed midriff. How ridiculous. All right, time to begin building. So before we do, I wanted to show you what I had done in advance, guys. So if you got a good look at the intro, few seconds, you saw what will hopefully become a street full of these. Uh, basically house fronts and we're really only going to do the facade today we're going to do it all out of adobe with these awesome bright colors so i wanted to show you the rough plan zip it dude i wanted to show you the rough plan for the intro but um we're going to be building on scorched earth we are at about 63.8 39.8 so 6440 roughly on the scorched earth map if you guys choose not to build here on scorched earth if you live on the island or the center i wanted to show you you could do it out of stone as well um, what i would do is flip it so that you get the opportunity to have a couple of colors on the front of your build or just uh have wooden windows and have the stone and the uh the windows be different colors but the key to this build is the color and you don't get the same color on stone you don't get the same vibrance so if you can at all i'd recommend doing this build out of adobe now speaking we are going to make five of these house fronts each in a different bright color and they're going to be built like this guys i found a design i really like and um, to do this uh, we're going to start from scratch so i'm going to tear this whole thing down maybe i'll leave the foundations and i'll bring you back so we can do this together all right guys Welcome back. Take a look at these stone foundations. We're going to be working this out together. And as we get started, I'm going to throw on the HUD. Um, so each house front is three wide. We're going to start with uh, laying out some pillars just so we know where our doors are and we aren't losing track. Um, so I'm going to uh, leave a space there for a window, a space there for a window and another pillar. These are temporary and they are just marking our spot. And you know what? I shouldn't be counting from this end, should I? Oh yeah, I got it right. Okay, perfect. I'm going to throw a pillar in here. And guys, this is new for me. I'm trying around a new style of videos. I finally have my own ARC server. And I want to make the kind of videos I've been excited to make the last little while. But I've struggled to be able to because I've been playing in survival. I'm an admin on here. Which means I can uh, get builds ready a lot quicker and build them for you. And really show you how to build some cool stuff in ARC. I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting sick of... Uh, living in boxes and we're going to change that with this channel we're going to do some cool builds so um you can make this uh, spot as big as you want now the key is to find something that's level enough that's why i came here to scorched earth plus i think this build will look at home in the desert speaking of the desert take a minute to check out we've got the autumn colors on this is in the middle of the halloween event so hopefully nothing crazy happens you'll see giant candy corn flying through the sky ridiculous uh, but find a flat spot and then build as many three by three uh, foundations as you can now for me I've got five of them and I have for two of my houses uh, the walls for the houses are gonna be right there so that's gonna be the beginning of a house uh, we'll have a door frame here and a window here so uh, to match the image that inspired me once again it'll be the top link in your description if you want to check out the image that got me excited to do this build um, I wanted to have a little bit of variety and elevation. So this house and the one next to it are going to be a little higher and on a slightly different building grid than the others. So it's time, guys. Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to grab the door frames. Actually, you know what? We're going to have to take this down because I'm getting a step ahead. Okay, so let's start with our door frames. We're going to put one here. And in front of every pillar, and then we're going to come back and we'll take out these pillars so we can actually get a good look at our uh, house. So I have got a spot here, guys. I couldn't put my last two foundations, so I'm going to have a half a house. It's going to be perfect for a cool-looking uh, image, but uh, it 
is not going to be a complete one. So try and get as long a stretch as you can. I went for five uh, house fronts and I couldn't do it even with this giant flat space. I just can't make it all in the same elevation. Uh, okay, perfect. So, oh, pillars are out of the way. I didn't mean to knock that one down yet. I, th I think goes right there. Perfect. And I'll put one right there. Beautiful. All right, and we'll get rid of this. Oops. All right, geeks, your build should be looking roughly like this. A door, two spaces, a door. Two spaces, a door. Until you run out of space, make sure you got one to the left of the last door and to the right of the last door on this end. What I was going to do is uh, put fence foundations in all these gaps so that I could have pillars to separate the row houses. But the more that I look at uh, the image that I'm working off of, I don't think they need those pillars. And I think the color difference will be stark enough. So we're going to continue this build and we're going to try and move quickly. All right, so this is the process, guys. We're basically now filling every last space on this first row with a window frame. Everything should line up, but if you're having trouble making things look quite right, uh, just keep working away at it. Sometimes you have to find weird little snap positions. If you do this multi-layer thing I did, you're going to have some problems, but that's what you should be looking at like. Whoops, except that's a window frame. Boom. Okay, keep doing window frames until you get to the end, and I'll be right back. All right, this is what you should have now. It's going to look slightly different based on where you built it, guys, but this is a step-by-step. -step. So we're going to keep doing this thing. Round two is super easy. What you want is your adobe walls, and you're basically going to do this all the way across the second level from here until the end, and I will come back with you when I've got that done. And now, this is what we've got. Check it out. So walls all the way across, and we start to have some fun now. So you're going to need walls and door frames for our third level. So we're going to go up and do door frames uh, everywhere except over the other door frames. So go ahead and lay these in first, like so, over top of your window frames from level one. And then when you come back through the second time, you're going to want to do another solid wall in the middle. So it's going to start to look like that. I'm going to go and do the rest of my houses. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So that is your new look right there. So uh, the next stage actually involves the flip side of these. So what you're going to want to do is grab your ceilings. And we got a big old pile of those. Boom. And you're going to want to lay these across and connect to them. If you do have varying layers, make sure that you're paying attention because for me right now, I could easily connect to this one here, but I want to connect to my door frame up there. So I'm going to be on a slightly different level. Go ahead and lay ceilings all the way across. And if you can't do it from below based on, I don't know what, you could always go ahead and put a ladder up there. I'm going to go ahead and give myself an easy way up there and we'll see if I did this right. Ba-boom. Perfect. So you could get up here and you could lay them out this way. This makes me feel like I'm playing Minecraft and I just pillared up. Uh, so I'm going to lay these out and we'll come back for the next stage. All right. And welcome back. So this is what we've got. I now have a ceiling across the top of here. I hope I picked a straight line to walk on. Otherwise, yep, falling off. Okay, cool. So that's what it's looking like right now, guys. The next stage is actually some so solid walls just like the second layer the the fourth layer is going to be all walls so make sure you got a lot of adobe walls and just do your work move your way across and whoops there we go move your way across lay this row in and then we get into some fun detail work putting in a roof and a little balcony it's going to be boss all right boys and girls that is your new look a row of walls all across the top Let's hop up here and we'll, we're going to need actually more ceilings. So Adobe ceilings is another one of the plentiful things uh, uh, for this build. The things you're going to need to prep if you're building in survival. Good luck to you. So I'm going to keep this up. Uh, keep snapping in ceilings now uh, for above this fourth row. And you're going to want to make sure, like I just did there, that you're snapping to uh, the top of uh, the wall 
and not to the closest ceiling or to some other point. As we get into this build, if you guys kept it up with these unusual levels, uh, which for doing that, you gotta play around with pillars. It's a trick I showed in the beginning of my last video, the Swamp Cabin. Check it out now if you haven't. I'll put it in the description or in the cards for you. But I'm gonna get this row finished up and we're almost at the end of it. So I might as well keep you with me. I've been doing a lot of back and forth. The next part is actually pretty fun and we're gonna have to do it right. Uh, so actually while we're here, let's go ahead and put a ladder right there. I'll get up it and can we break the ladder from here? Yes, we can Boom, okay, so let's lay these ceilings out and uh, and then we get to have some fun All right, so the, the best part of this build and we're gonna see I hope I didn't mess it up in the process because I did it another way last time so uh, what we're gonna need to do is Go third person. All right, we want to, yep, that's perfect. So center yourself over the seam uh, to the one side of the door, right? That's roughly where I'm at right now. Pull out a ceiling. And if your game works like mine, you're going to be able to place it here. Half in this ceiling, half in uh, hanging out over here. And you're going to want to place two. And if we zoom out now, check it out so that is perfectly centered over our door and that is going to be the beginning of our balcony um, the next step is to do this over each and every one of the doors along your row of houses i got four more to do uh, i'll bring you back with another look at it all right y'all welcome back this is what we're looking at uh it is time to start putting in some roofs uh so i'm gonna grab whichever one fits here and i think it's that one perfect we're going to put whichever one goes on this side, and I think it's that one. Perfect. And now it's time to do some sloped, whoops, I think it's this one. There you go. Some sloped adobe roofs. So the interesting, oh, you know what? I'm jumping the gun. Okay, let's take these out, and I'm going to show you a very important step we're going to do before we do this. All right, guys, let's do one of these balconies from scratch, and we'll do it the right way. Okay, so let's start with our railings and these are going to be difficult because we get ceilings layered on ceilings so try and look at the one you want it to snap to and it will do the trick grab this instead and we'll go around we'll just make a little c shape and keep looking at the right foundation boom and you should get that done now on the original center foundation we're going to place a door and we're going to want to make sure it's you're looking at the foundation you want it to be on and it works like a charm. Perfect, so I'm gonna grab a regular wall. Nope, didn't play along. Okay, so let's bust this out. And maybe I'll stand on the inside. So with arc, especially when you get into these complex builds where there's 10 different snap points for everything. No, okay, you gotta play around two or three times, but I'm not afraid to. We get a few more walls. I can always go get more if we need them. There we go. You want to make sure you get that texture facing out, guys. Let's see how well I can do it on this side. First try. Perfect. Okay. So once you've got this in place, you're going to go ahead, crouch down, grab your ceilings, and get a ceiling centered over top if you can. There you go, guys. Crouch just outside the door, and it's switching directions like crazy. I don't think it matters too much. All right. Perfect. So that is most of the work for a balcony right there that simple little make you a little c-shape of your wooden fences and a little little square house with no back on it and a door frame on the front and now you take your sloped roofs and hopefully you don't have too much trouble snapping them into place let's go stand on this side while we're doing it because it should make it easier yep perfect and i didn't lay down a um corner piece right there so we're gonna see if this will let us place one anyway and it's not okay so we're gonna put a sloped wall right down there and it looks like it's on the right one perfect and now we should have no trouble syncing these up oh boom perfect so there's a finished balcony guys I'm gonna go do the other three and then we'll sit back we'll take a good look at this thing I'll take a break We'll come back and do a sick paint job on it. 
All right. That's how it looks. I'm pretty stoked. Now, uh, if you would like to, guys, and they're not really essential to this build, you can go ahead and set yourself up with windows and doors. I've got a bunch. Uh, I'd like to try the glass and the adobe in here, but we're going to try that. I'm going to mess around with some things in between. I'll try out some designs I like, and I'll show you what I like after the break. And after you take that break, we're going to paint these houses, and we're going to do it in some magnificent colors. Take a peek at my hot bar. Just a peek. Perfect. I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. ba bow. Take a look. I did glass everywhere that was sort of intended to be a window, and I used uh, the adobe doors. I didn't even touch the adobe windows. I think this is a pretty good look, uh, but this thing is only going to come together with a paint job. So let's do the first row. You'll get a good idea of the paint job, and then I'll carry this out for the rest of this build. All right, guys, so I have five colors on my bar. Now, you would think there's five house fronts. Maybe they'll each get a different color. No, I think the yellow is going to be for trim, and it seems to look good with all the other colors. So we need to repeat one. I think it's going to be the green because I think the green is awesome, and it. I think it re actually, I was going to say it repeats in the image, but I think the orange and the blue do. Anyway, so I'm going to just give you guys a rough idea of what the first level is going to look like. We'll come by and do all the trim for these in a minute. That's green. Let's say middle one green again. Yeah, let's try that. Actually, let's go one more. Let's do this one. Ready? Boom. Okay, so that's stage one. Obviously, I'm going to have to do everything going up. We're going to have to do this, going to have to do this, going to have to do this. Perfect. Um, so what is our next color? While I'm down here, might as well do these. I'm going to have to go up to the next level to do the rest. Okay, so we're going to go from the green maybe into the cyan. I think that could look pretty good. We're going to need a bright color in between, maybe orange after that. Ooh, but then, yeah, okay, that, that's going to work out perfect. Okay, I like how this is turning out, guys. Might as well do the second row just to give you a better image of it. We'll get that in there. That's your cyan. We're going to go with, hmm, I wonder, red or orange? So let's slap the red on there. I just want to do that so I can see how it's going to look in between these two colors. Now let's try the orange. We'll save the red for the end. Okay, so we'll do that. That This is going to go better. Cantaloupe. So it's lime green, cantaloupe, cyan. Uh, what was the first one? more lime green and then red and we're going to use yellow as the trim so let's take the red and we'll finish up down this end and you get a real good look at it i'm going to go back and do all the trim in yellow basically anywhere you see wood so on this level it'll be the frames of the windows the doors the frames of the doors and that's pretty much it uh let me go do that and we'll take a good look geeks that does it take a look at what we've created today I know it's a bit of a weird build, sort of a Mediterranean row house facade. It's the beginning of a Mediterranean street. I don't know if we'd ever come back and add to it, but since you were here last, I've added a few final details. We went and made the roofs, uh, both the flat and the sloped, tan colored, and I wouldn't applied that same paint to these foundations. It's actually taken them from a bluish gray to a creamy gray. I kind of like it. And uh, right where these foundations stick out from below, I painted the uh, stone foundations in cyan for the cyan house and cantaloupe for the cantaloupe house. But that does it, guys. My name is Unite the Clans. Thank you so much for watching this build video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out the interactive cards in the top right corner. Those will contain links to some of my favorite videos and playlists, especially the building stuff. And if you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. This is my brand new server, and I'm going to be doing a lot of building from here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.